the Zach Taylor era begins in Cincinnati. It's the coach. This is week one of the NFL on EA Sports. Coming up, the Bengals have a new man calling the shots. Zach Taylor, the second youngest coach in the entire league as they head to Seattle to take on the oldest coach in the league, Pete Carroll of the Seattle Seahawks. I'll be back at halftime with a look at the games in progress. But first, let's get up to Seattle. Standing by are the guys in the booth, Brandon Godden and Charles Davis. Thank you, Coach. We are in the Pacific Northwest as we get set for football at Century League Field here in Seattle. This crowd, as we've come to expect in recent years, as loud as any in the NFL, and they get even louder when their Seahawks are introduced. We're ready for football as the Seahawks get set to do battle with Andy Dalton and the Cincinnati Bengals. So happy to be with you, Brandon Gordon and Charles Davis. And we thought it would never get here, but here we are back together. It's opening weekend of the 100th season in the NFL. So much football to talk about. That's our main focus. But how about how much happened in the offseason? Rules changes. Overtime rules were discussed in a big way. Some superstars changed addresses. There's a whole lot to talk about in the NFL in addition to this game we're getting ready to watch. This is Joe Mixon, fourth in the NFL in rushing last season. Call it officially a loss of two on the first play from scrimmage. Second down. Find a way to audible into something a little more advantageous. On second and 12, Dalton. And oh, right away, he lost the football. And the Seahawks have picked it up. And they bring this one back. It's a fumble recovery and a Seattle touchdown. Dalton with a give here to Mixon. And he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. Dalton on the draw to Mixon. And this one goes nowhere. Losing yardage back at the 22. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. First and ten, here's Andy Dalton. This one grabbed by A.J. Green. And they'll get it all the way up about five yards shy of midfield. Battling a toe injury the second half of the season. And boy, did the Bengals miss his presence. They limp to the finish line, losing seven of their last eight. They are happy to have him back and healthy. To have him on the move on first down. Now Joe Mixon, and the play goes nowhere. Losing yardage back near the 40 at the 39. Third down. Out of the gun, it's Dalton. And the catch good, it's Eifert. And he'll only get this to about the 35. Well short of the line to gain. A check down situation, wasn't it? Yeah, hoping he can break some tackles, a big tight end, but he couldn't do it. Yeah, get it to that big frame and hope he can scatter some bodies unable to get it done. Joe Mixon as they start on the ground. And he'll go down at the 26. Dalton here from the gun. And that one's going to be knocked away and incomplete. Give credit to K.J. Wright. He was disrupting defensively. Dalton can do after the fumble recovery. Open man is 
Josh Uzama. And the Bengals on third down. 0 for 3 to this point. They could use a conversion. This is third and 10. Here's Dalton. And that is incomplete. Here today. From the left hash, it's a 42-yard attempt. Bullock's kick is good. And they get themselves on the board here. It's 10 to 3. on third down. Not good. 0 for 4 thus far. This is third and 8. From the gun, Dalton looks to throw. Now a loose football. The ball comes out. And this effort will not get it done. He stopped well short of the first down at the 29. First down throw coming for Dalton. He gets this one to Boyd. Second and two after that last catch. Good for eight yards. Now looks it. And he'll only get a yard to bring up third and one. They'll get to the line here, but remember, it's also third down. Dalton now to pass. To mix it on the check down. And they take him down, losing yardage back at the 27. Offense in desperate need of a conversion as they come up on third down. Throwing there, but this pass is going to wind up incomplete. Dalton, first and ten. In a heavy traffic, and it's intercepted. Picked off at the 35. There he goes, left side. And he's going to score. It's a Seahawk touchdown. Dalton right back on the horse after the pick six. He gets this in the hands of Mixon. And up to the 35. They've become just as critical to the passing attack. As a lot of receivers tight in. Nowhere to escape, and he goes down. LJ Collier in there to drop him, and that will go in the books as the first sack of his young NFL career. Congratulations, young man. For seven thus far. This is third and 16. Passing. It's Dalton. Caught Eifert over the middle. And they stop him up short of the first down. They're already slim. Hopes are going to ride on this one. They'll go on fourth down. They'll try and run with Mixon. And boy, is he close. Did he get there? No, they're going to say he's short of the line to gain.
him before Tiny's he can get Ringo. started. Tiny's on the Ringo. Tiny's on the Ringo. They'll stay on the ground, mix him again. And this has been a familiar sight all afternoon as they stop him behind the line. Second sack of his young NFL career. And let's see what they've come up with offensively after having time to talk it over. Now throwing on third down there, but he cannot connect. So the victory here for Seattle. And with that, our journey begins, Charles. Week one in the books. Going to be a great season. Oh, man, so much to look forward to. Isn't it nice to get a really good game right out of the gate? Preseason behind us. All these games count now, don't they? Yeah, this is the exciting time with just one week gone and plenty of weeks to come. So for the Seahawks, it's a fantastic start as they roll to a blowout victory here in the season opener. And they will hit the road next week to take on the Pittsburgh Steelers.